Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 9.5, comparing volumes. Let's get started. Today's objective is I can compare the volume of different rectangular prisms by using formulas and inequality signs with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Please pause to type the I can and by statement in your digital math notebook now. All right, guys, we did a little bit of this at the very beginning of volume. So we're bringing it full circle and talking about comparing. Comparing means to say which one is greater than, less than, or equal to. So if we look at volume, we can count cubes because these are kind of funny shapes, and then compare. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side, and we have one, two, three, four on this side. Now remember we have to use our inequality signs, which is the big fancy name for our alligator symbols, and the alligator is super hungry, it wants to eat the bigger number. Let's do this again on the right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, careful, but we have one and two hidden blocks underneath there. So that would mean that we would have seven on this side as well. So that means that we can use our equal sign. Let's try some problems together. All right, guys, in your digital math notebook, you have this problem. Dexter builds a rectangular prism using centimeter cubes. The volume of his prism is 120 centimeters, which formula is not possible combination. Let's see if we can figure out these out, compare along the way, and find the one that is not his formula. The first one we have, 4 times 5 is 20 times 6. 6 times 2 is 18. Ooh, we got 180, so that formula might not work. Let's keep going and see what else we have. 2 times 15 is 30 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12 and add our 0. Ooh, that one might be a winner. Let's try our next one. We have 6 times 10 is 60 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12 and add our 0. This one also works. And our last one we have 6 times 5 is 30 times 6. 6 times 3 is 18. And we add a 0 on the end. And uh oh, that one also got us to 180. So that won't work. So the wins that would not work would be our first number and our last number. All right, friends, time for our lesson activity. In this lesson activity, we are saying which one of these shapes has the most volume. And these shapes are a little bit tricky. So let's get started together. I'm gonna look at this first shape and find the volume of just the bottom first. I have three times two times three. Three times three is nine times two is 18. Plus we have one, two, three, four, on top. So that gives me 22. Our next shape, ooh, it's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna find it one layer at a time. So if I just look at this layer, I have three times three. That gives me nine. And my next layer I have looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I did that one by counting. And on my third layer, I'm gonna count that one too. I have one, two, three, four. So let's see if I multiply those together. Nine times seven is 63 times four equals 250. Two, 
And I'm going to leave you to solve this last one. Remember that this space right here is not a cube that's invisible. It means it's missing. So don't count that cube that's missing when you find the formula. You might want to cut it into two pieces and then add them together. Great job, fifth graders. When you've finished your lesson and you feel comfortable with it, your notes are complete, then it's time to complete your exit slip to show your teacher your understanding. Great job.